Hi guys, good afternoon. Right now it's about 1.30 p.m. and today is uh, 21st of December 2017. We are just inching towards the end of one full year. And if I have to review, you know, like it has been the most successful year of my life, you know, because I made my YouTube channel Stock Pro uh, and Stock Pro Hindi, both. And, you know, I encountered you all there. And th this has been a huge, huge year for me, um, meeting so many people, different walks of life and different places and different, you know, all of you. and it was a journey of learning together and moving together. <clears throat> and I wish to continue in a more magnificent way in the year 2018. And I'm inviting you all to join the webinar starting from 2000, uh, you know, like the 6th of uh, January, 2018. Let it be a transformative year for you as well. So many people, you know, like I've already trained about 400 people and they have transformed their life. I'm 100% sure you will all be able to do so. So, of course, I'm gonna be, I'm requesting all my old members to really record their, you know, video, audio, video, both, just not the audio. I want them to, even not, I don't, I mean, all of you have sent me an email, but I want an audio video. Click it with your mobile and just a clipping of about a minute, two minute or three minute, how has your journey been with me and how was your learning process along with, you know, the stock pro and did you change your perception about market and are you in the positive zone now? You know, for years uh, after losing money by taking tips and everything, do you feel now you can identify and you can trade in the right stocks now? If it is so, even if you have, let's say, whatever your state before doing the stock pro webinar if you have moved 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent 30 percent i'm sure you all have moved at least 80 85 percent you know whatever is left that will come with experience you know when you will do multiple entries in every you know every season you will do you know like when the nifty is going up when nifty is going down every scene if every um you know season if you do the trading you will be polished every day you will be sharpening your skills how to enter and exit in a particular uh, in, in in particular stocks uh when whatever may be the direction of nifty so whatever is left is going to come with experience but what i'm asking does did this course help you please write to me i'll be really happy to hear from you all who have done my my you know uh, training program all right so let's talk about nifty today so nifty is as i told you yesterday i'm going to exit my position and i did exit my position i kept a order of 10500 and the moment i think yesterday it hit that you know and it hit and it came down and my position was automatically squared off right so that was you know yesterday i haven't entered into nifty today right now why because i'm looking for a right opportunity it's not taking support right now rather i would say it's taking a resistance right so i'm waiting i have done a trade i have done two trades one of them just failed like anything and the other one is a is doing good you know so one of the trade that i did was biocon so this is biocon you know like there's still i believe upward uh, steam still left you know let me show you before that let me tell you one more trade that i did was coal india coal india just backfired and i lost about a couple of thousand rupees here and then another trade because see when we are sitting in the market this is inevitable you know like you'll have to go through this you know because market is so unpredictable but your winning trades have to be more than your losing trades. That's the that's the key. Another trade that I wanted to do, but my order got rejected was Vigard. Vigard, I wanted to buy when we were somewhere here. About 232. I'll show you my order book. So this was, you know, somebody has written that I am, uh, you know, uh, taking help, help of my members trade. Why should I do that? You can see my ID here. This is my ID, DS3685 every trade that i show you here with the box order is my trade why should i show you any of my members trade right 
and i show it to you them i show you them on telegram whatever i show on telegram let me show you today's trade what members have done right i show my trades what i have done but i sometimes show you know member trade. so see this is one member trade today he's master of titan see this is how he's earned today and he's finished for the day he said i've done for the day this is what this was his profit these are member straight, right? This is not my trade. My trade is right here. You can see these, right? Which I show you on my platform are my trades. So Biocon I bought at 540.6, you can see here. Then Vigar I tried to buy at 232.35, right now it's at 233.10, okay? I bought Coal India at 270.7, but I my stop loss was hit and I exited from this position, right? So that was my trade, but this is Biocon that I have. Let's see how are the positions. A little positive, but I'm expecting it to give me a good return. Okay, because Nick Nifty is experiencing a resistance, this stock is also showing a bit of reversal, right? That is what I can say. See here, Nifty is under resistance. So I'm sooner, I'm just in a few minutes. The moment I have a little bit more, a little bit better profits, I'm going to exit it. <coughs> because I feel uh, Nifty is under pressure. Nifty is under pressure. Let's just analyze with the help of option chain as well. Let's see what's happening in the options. So here is the option chain. Let me just refresh it. See what's happening here. The highest options have been calls have been written at the level 10,500, right? That means Nifty is not crossing 10,500 today again and call put unwinding happening at 10,450 level, right? And put writing happening, the highest put writing happening at 10,400. So Nifty is not going below 10,400. That is kind of, uh, you know, frozen or that is kind of locked, but Nifty is also not going above 10,500 today, right? If at all, it may fall a little bit because I could see a bit of XP, the, the resistance coming in here, right? So what I did, I want to take you to the international market also and see what's happening there because the markets have opened. This is FTSE. A bit under pressure. So probably that is what is reflecting even DAX is under pressure. And let me see if I could get the CAC also. And let's see what's happening in CAC. That's also under pressure. So this pressure is actually being experienced by Nifty also, right? That is why you are being nodding, being able to see <clears throat> good momentum. Otherwise, see, I want to show you here the open interest. There are huge number of buyers and like the ratio is about three is to two, right? For every three buyers, there are two sellers. More buyers, less sellers, right? And that's what makes this stock a bit more popular. And see here, let me just put the, you know, uh, pivot points also for you. So that will probably make it better. So here is the pivot points. Huh? Now, it's within this channel. This is within R1 and R2. I'm expecting it to break R2, you know, like with some momentum. And that will only happen when Nifty shows a little positive inclination a little positive inclination will make it move upward right because there's a huge open interest on the buy side on the sell side it's reducing i'm definitely expecting biocon to go up and give me good profit okay so this is one trade and the other trade that i told you i did was uh, the coal india which actually i lost and the next one was we so you know let's go back and see what's happening to our trades you know one of the trade that i gave you was um the vip clothings do you see here what point did we give it to you somewhere around 53 rupees where is it today where is it today it is at see here this is where we gave you oh i think 53 rupees or so i remember it and from here it has gone 30 rupees up good 60 percent return right Today, even Trident is giving a good return. Trident has also started moving up. And I'm pretty much sure it will give us a good return in coming few days. Right? And uh, let's look into the Ramkey. Ramkey is also again up today. 
you know these are the stocks that will give you good profit good profit you know like identification of stock is very very important you know like when you identify the stock and hold it i'm 100% sure my members have become expert of positional trades positional trades they can just like I mean, I'm 100% sure no other channel, no other tip provider will give such accuracy. Up, you, if you want, you can go to my Telegram channel and see the accuracy. How is it? How is it performing? You know, you can, in fact, do one analysis yourself. Put all my stocks on a graph and make an Excel sheet. We can, we, we are also about to post you an Excel sheet and show you the performance, right? And you will be amazed to see almost 90% of the stocks have done well, right? No matter what people say, but this is a written proof. You know, like there is no ambiguity about it. There's not that I'm saying and I have not done it. I There is a proof on, you know, Telegram channel. There's a proof on a uh, YouTube channel where you can analyze and see. Okay, so what I'm saying now my webinar begins on 6th of january i'm telling you if you will learn it entire life you can reap the benefit and we tell you also whatever is your investment we will ensure that you have got it back you will get it back by the trades that we will be doing along with you right and i uh, say around march i'm going to start a purely intraday trading right i have showed you today I'm 100% sure I should be positive. I'm, I'm, see, I will be much in few minutes, you know, let, let it just be a few more minutes. I'm 100% sure the trade is going to do much better. I'm 100% sure this trade will give me good profit, right? I'm 100% sure because there is a little turbulence in the international market and that is what is reflecting in Nifty and that is what is reflecting in you know our trades the moment there is a bounce that's going to come in nifty see there's a bounce which is coming in nifty here and that is reflecting in the trades as well right so i told you i mean choice is yours you can take your own calls your own decisions but i have exited i have exited nifty i'm waiting now for the correct signs you know like of course if you ask me the long-term perspective I am still positive on Nifty. Why I'm still positive on Nifty? Because, you know, one of the rule I've told you to exit your trade is when the 10 moving, when the candles leave 10 moving average, right? That's one of the rule I've told you. And, um, you know, whatever said and done, 10,500 is lifetime high. Nifty will touch it once and come back. So when it has touched, I don't want to lose my locked in profit. So I, exit it this this long tail candle was indicative enough that i need to exit and lock my profit right so that is why i'm i've exited although there are no signs had it not been lifetime high i would have remained in nifty but it's lifetime high you know and there was a you know sudden selling which came in so i exited my position and if you all want to do that Please do it. We can enter a game. Right now, Nifty looks a little under pressure. Not a lot under pressure, but a little under pressure. And that is why you are not seeing stocks to be moving upward with a great momentum. Right? Because, you know, whenever market goes up, there has to be some kind of consolidation. There has to be some kind of profit booking that should come into the place. Now, see here. Again, let me show you Biocon. The open interest is still huge, right? And here it is. Uh, sellers are less and buyers are more. So I'm expecting definitely Biocon to go, go up. As it is, the price in 15 minutes is above all moving averages, right? If Nifty doesn't experience major resistance, I'm expecting this trade to give me good profit. I'm definitely expecting good profits to, to be coming in right so uh, if you want to learn i mean as i told you we will be starting with intraday not right now but say around march until i have you know an accuracy above 80 percent in intraday i will not i will refraining it from teaching to everyone right and i'm definitely expecting it to give me 
good, good. I mean, my strategy is, I think, quite a good strategy. It gives me good returns. Yesterday, I made profit of about 7,000 rupees. The day before, I made about 1,000 rupees. And today, I'm definitely expecting a good return to be coming in, right? As Nifty will bounce back, so my trade should also be bouncing back. I'm expecting that. Let's see. Let's let the time will tell. But I'm definitely expecting it to bounce back. Right. So whenever you're doing intraday trade, always put the, you know, pivot points. They will behave as a support or the resistance. Right. And along with your moving averages, some people put the super trend, but I am usually not very fond of uh, super trend. I trust my moving averages more than I trust anything else. So I put my moving averages, I put my uh, pivot points, and from there I trade in intraday. All right. So this is my trade of today, which is Biocon. <clears throat> and oh, oh, okay. Now before I proceed further, I want to quickly analyze Nifty. What's happening in Bank Nifty? <clears throat> As you can see here, Bank Nifty is also a bit on resistance. You can see it's not being able to cross, although it is holding on a support. On S1, it's holding itself, right? So until it breaks S1, I think we have nothing to worry about, right? The worries will come only when the support will be broken. Let's see what's happening in Nifty. <coughs> so here is Nifty. Nifty is also holding on to its support at the uh, uh, lower levels, right? So if Nifty crosses this support, which is 10,445, then we have a reason to worry. Otherwise, we don't need to worry. We don't need to worry. It should be fine. It should be given. It should, we can hold our positions if you have not exited. I have exited my position. But in case it, it breaks this particular point, which is 10,444 or 445, we need to exit our trade, right? Because then after that, a bit more fall may come in. That's what my perception is, right? So guys, those who have done a webinar with me, I'm really expecting from you all to please write a review. It will give an insight to others. How did you feel? How was your you know, journey with us? And I'm really requesting you all to share your views, you know, like share a genuine view so that the others others can benefit from your experience and second i'm saying that all those who want to join can quickly do that because we will be beginning on 6th of january our fresh program right and uh, i'm looking forward to see you all in in year 2017 uh, i was fortunate to be uh, traveling along you guys say about 400 but for the year 2018, I have a huge figure in mind where I can educate a lot more people and train them in stock market. That is my resolve. And if I'm resolute, I'm sure ways and means will open up when more and more people will resolve to, you know, uh, learn about stock market rather than to gamble in the stock market by taking the tips. I'm resolute. This is going to be my new year resolve to reach out at least whatever I have, uh, you know, trained in year 2017, at least 100 times more than that, I plan to train in year 2018. So guys, support me in my endeavor. I'm waiting for you all. Good day. Bye-bye. See you, right? We meet tomorrow again, and we will discuss about Nifty, and we'll talk about trades. Meanwhile, I'm also going to be searching. In case I get a good trade for you all, I'll be posting it on Telegram. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good day.